hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's Big P here, you know, don't you? You know, it's that time of the month again where everybody shits the pants and hopes that they are not known as a helmet! Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? It's, uh, it's that time of month where we do helmets of the month. Uh, well, I'm going to do a top 10 this year because, uh, this month, because top 30, you just, it's going over the same old grounds, isn't it? There's 44 people being, uh, there's 44 people being voted for this month, so just uh, 10 of them, We've got the top 10 here. Uh, hmm. <laughs> this is going to be a good one, this. You're gonna love this one, this is gonna be epic. All right, so. Who we got first up, eh? We've got. Ed Robinson, helmet number 10. Uh, we know why Ed Robinson's had votes, don't we? Because he's the guy behind the scenes at Sky pulling all the strings, isn't he? He used to be a bit like me, Ed Robinson, right? Scripts, do a bit of filming, loves his boxing, knows his boxing. Don't you, Ed? Ed Robinson, I know you're watching, but I know that you what you I know that you watch my channel, but I also know that you know your boxing, Ed, and uh, what you're serving up is utter garbage. If you're last line of defence for quality control at Sky, you should be ashamed, Ed Robinson. That's why you've had votes for this month. Ed Robinson. People are starting to actually listen to me. Isn't that right, Captain Kirk? You keep it coming. You keep growing the porky legend, Captain Kirk. You and your mate, Super Knuckler. <laughs> but no, getting back to Ed Robinson. Listen, Ed. Come see me. Hey, you have been to see me. We had a night out, didn't we, Ed, in Cunningsburg, do you remember? <laughs> me and Ed Robinson knocking double whiskies back in uh, Hilltop Hotel. What a night that was. Duran Duran on jukebox. But Ed, you're number 10, do you know why? Because you are a helmet. Helmet behaviour is how you've been behaving, Ed. You know that, don't you? It's up to you to stop what's going on, Ed. You can stop it all. You're quality control for Sky, but you're not, you're not going to do it, are you? Because you'll be like the rest of them. Used to money. Now, we remember what we spoke about that night, don't we, Ed? About what we're right and what we're wrong in boxing. So, do you think what you're doing in boxing at the moment is right? you've got to say you've got to say it sky aren't you now we know don't we ed that you're just burying your head in sand like rest of you're all controlled by eddie Earn. if not why are you serving utter garbage utter garbage get him here up my arse you're serving utter garbage up and people are sick of it ed so ed robinson Pound for pound, number 10, Porky's Corner, making your debut, alright, ta-ta, Ed. In at number 9, well, in at, <laughs> I don't know what to say about this man here, eh? He's the Roy Cropper of boxing, aka Gareth A. Davis. Gareth, we know that you're seedy, don't we? We know you're a seedy single man. You should be ashamed of yourself what you put that girl through. Ebony Bridges. Ten years from now, you'll probably get arrested for doing that, Gareth. That is called oogling, or basically, it's nothing short of being a peeping Tom. But she knew you were looking, so maybe I'm a bit harsh there, calling you a peeping Tom. But I don't, I don't, I don't even want to see you on my TV, Gareth A. Davis. And another thing as well, while I'm at it, Gareth. Pull your tongue out at the back of Tyson Fury, mate. Pull it out and rinse your mouth out with TCP. 
All right. Have a look who we've got now. Have a look. Oh, Matthew Maxley in at number eight. Higher than Gareth Davis, who we're number nine, but we've got Matthew Macklin at number eight. God, what can we say about Matthew Macklin? Fantastic commentator when he first started out, but we've got the Matthew Macklin uh, daily sermon, haven't we, on, uh, on social media. Boxing Social, IFL, all the rest of them spouting the same old Sky propaganda, matchroom propaganda. To be fair, he's picking Tyson Fury, isn't he, to beat Joshua, but he'd have to do one because he's MTK, isn't he? What a name that is, isn't it? Mac the Knife Global. Go on, Mac. But well, this is how I look at it. Your rimming's out of control. Other people might not say no about you, Macklin, but I don't care. I'm going to say it, mate. Your rimming is out of control. Swill your mouth out with TCP, gurgle it for 10 minutes, spit it out. It'll have a, you'll have a burning sensation all the way to the bottom. That's the best thing you can do. All right, so Macklin, number eight, Matthew or Matty. Welcome to the Blue Ribbon Division, Matt! It's back with a bang! In at number seven! Ho oh, ho! He's there again, isn't he? It's Dillian the Body Snatcher White, aka the Can't Man. Anybody who wants it can't get it, unless they're over 40. <laughs> Dillian White, number seven. Oh my god, has anybody seen what he's been carrying on with lately? He's got his fifth trainer on job now, Harold Knight. Let's hope, let's hope it works out for him. I mean, pff, God, to beat Joshua, he's going to need Michael Knight's uh, dad, isn't he? From Knight Rider. Oh my God, Harold Knight. What is he going to do for you? You need to go back on your hands and knees and beg Mark Tibbs to take you back, mate. That's what you need to do. But it is what it isn't. So Dylan White. Number seven, pound for pound on Porky's Corner. Helmets of the month. Let's pull up here. So check who's number six. Oh my god. Number six. Is there or thereabouts, isn't it? It's the mole in the hole! Davinda Coldwell, born in Calcutta, India. Now living in Rotherham. Isn't that right, Coldwell? The Mole in the Hole, a.k.a. Penfall. 44 interviews this month. Go on, lad. It's not about... It's not about the fighters, it's about the trainers. What am I even on about here? It's not about the fighters. It's about the trainers. That's what it's about now. Dave Caldwell. Oh, my God. How many more videos are we going to have of Dave Caldwell going on about Mr. being a victim and having a tough upbringing? You're the only person who's had a tough upbringing. Try to win time in prison, mate. You pop your pants. You'd be like Steffi Bull, wouldn't you? Running around flapping all day, hoovering house up all day. So don't talk to me about being a victim, mate. Because you're not. You're just an arse licker. Caldwell, you're number six. Go away. I don't even like you, mate. But at least I'll tell you to your face when I see you, mate. All right. Number five. This should be number one, this. David the White Rhino Allen, the man that's never been with a woman. Oh my God, Dave Allen. Oh, I can't believe it. I can't believe Dave Allen's made it into the top five. He should be number one, but why is Dave Allen number five? Well, I'll tell you why, because I've had an avalanche of votes in the last few days for him. He's just done an interview on IFL, you know, the Dave Allen sermon. Going on about half 25 or 30 fighters want to manage him and he's going to do it for free with the duo he wants 5% so that ain't for free is it? Dave you forgot to mention about all the sponsorship that you've got hanging out at back here. It's no good that unless you're managing all, all these fighters is it? So you're not exactly doing it for free Dave are you? So tell the truth. Alright to be relevant Dave you need to be an IFL and you need sponsors. You're only going to get sponsors if you're managing fighters so don't make out you're the saviour of British boxing. This is what it, well, this is what it is. You see, we get confidence tricks. They come into boxing, don't they? And they blag it all the way, don't they? But Dave Allen's biggest blagger ever. 
I mean, I thought Dave Caldwell were bad, but Dave Allen is the biggest blagger to ever blag the blag. Oh my God. Oli Belt is got owns a snake belt holding up his uh, hardcore jeans. And it, it is what it is, but you've got to give him credit. You've got to respect the hustle. This is why Dave Allen's joint number five with Shannon Courtney. I mean, what sort of a hustle is that one? That is the hustle to top all hustles, isn't it? But getting back to Dave, 40 grand exhibition, Dave. Stop telling monster whoppers. 40,000 pounds to have an exhibition in South Africa. No, that's you inserting yourself into positions, Dave, so that people come calling for exhibitions. And going on about fighting Logan Paul and stuff like that, Dave. I thought you were all about legacy. You should be embarrassed, but Shannon Courtney joint number five. What's happening with all them racist tweets, Shannon? Nobody's saying a word about your racist tweets. If that were me, people would be all over it, wouldn't they? Do you know what I mean? People would be all over it, but nobody's saying a word, but your novice level, so's Rachel Ball. How's that a WBA title fight? It insults the WBA, in my opinion. It's shocking. So you're joint number five, Shannon Courtney, and the White Rhino. Two social media darlings. In at number four. Here's Johnny. He's always there, isn't he, or thereabouts. Johnny Nelson, a.k.a. the company man, a.k.a. Johnny the Baptist. John the Baptist, isn't it? <laughs> oh my God, I keep waking up every morning, I keep seeing Johnny Nelson interviews. They're even doing interviews now about Conor McGregor's fight. How's that relevant? Oh my God, it, it's annoying me. I don't get annoyed easily, me. I don't get annoyed, but Johnny, Johnny Nelson, I know. I know that you're watching, mate. I know you're watching. I've heard back, Johnny. I know you're watching it. So stop ooh, crying like a little piggy. <coughs> stop crying, Johnny Nelson. You should be thankful. You need to start crying, Johnny, when you're not getting a mention, because that'll be when you're not on Sky, won't it? When they get rid of you and they get some new staffing, because that's what it needs. Needs a complete overall. All the lot of you except Carl Froch need sacking. The whole lot of you need to be get gone. Because the rimming is out of control. You're pushing these narratives and you're giving things airtime like YouTubers. But Roy Jones and Mike Tyson and all this and exhibitions. I don't want to see stuff like that unless it's for charity. I don't want to see people feathering the nest before kids that are turning pro. And my words here that, that I'm coming out with, a lot of them are front boxing industry, because people are sick to death of it. They're sick to death of it. So Johnny Nelson, you're there aren't you Johnny? At number four, pound for pound Porky's helmets. Take a bow Johnny, take a bow. When I get my new number Johnny, I'll send you it next helmets, because every time I do you block me. <coughs> Come see me Johnny. The heart of a breadcrumb, Johnny Nelson. In at number three, it's Adam Smith, aka B. Run a bean, could have been, should have been, never been. Baked bean, creepy bean, beanie, rumple silk skin, the dungeon master. We're on to you. And your laptop in at the nearest police station. What I'm saying, Johnny, is what all I'm. Uh, what I'm saying, sorry, Adam, is what uh, what they all say at Sky anyway. But nobody's going to tell you to the face. Nobody's going to tell you to your face, Adam, that you look seedy. So hand that laptop in. We're sick of seeing your sermons as well every other day on same old YouTube channels. Going on about same old crap. It's no good. We don't want to hear it. Start talking about boxing and when you're going to put some proper fights on. You put three fights on with Frank Warren in ten years. To stop pulling wool over our eyes. We're sick to death of it. Sick to death. One get gone, bean, eh, bean. In at number two on Porky's Corner, Elmer's. Pound for pound. I can't believe he's not number one. He's Anthony Bellio, the disappearing man. Everybody's got a plan until they get punched in the face. 
old Joe Louis Mike Tyson uh, quote that in it, eh? Old Joe Lewis, Mike Tyson quote, hey Tony the disappearing man, been on SAS, Soccer AM, the League of Their Own, every time I turn my telly on he's there, I was looking at some of last night, he was on Family Fortunes, oh my god, the disappearing man who just won't go away, Coogs, Mr. I fight for 25 million in an exhibition, oh my god. Might only be all here, but chains are pulled. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So, Tony Bell, you pound for pound, number two pork is corner. You've arrived, haven't you? Tony, I know you're watching, mate, because you love it. You and your little mate, Penfolds, you love this channel. You can't get enough of it, Tony, can you? Come see me! That leaves us with. The number one. The number one. I'm put that. I'm gonna have to pull up for this one. I'm gonna have to pull up for this one. The number one on Porky's Corner for this month is Eddie Hearn, Terry Harper, and Steffi Ball. Do you know why? I can't believe Steffi's gone all the way down there to Essex with Terry Harper and all the way back in the middle of a pandemic. It's hardly work, is it? It's not boxing or training, that is it. It's nothing you couldn't do on Zoom. It, it, it's cringeworthy. Um, I don't know what I mean. This is why everybody on my channel who's on Twitter will share this everywhere because, Steffi, you've had it coming, haven't you? You've been gagging to be at number one helmet, Steffi, haven't you? But you couldn't do it on your own, could you? Your joint helmet of the month, you and Terry Harper and uh, Eduardo. You know what I mean? Yeah, it is what it is, isn't it, down there. Hanging out of the back of Eddie Hearn. It's unbelievable. Why aren't you telling Eddie Hearn that you want to correct the Natasha, Natasha Jonas fight? Hey, why aren't you doing that? So, so it is what it is, isn't it? I'm here! So, all right. I always leave me rubbish in Ellie because I think they're snobby up here, don't they? So, that's about it, Steffi Bull. You've mainly got your votes because you're running Terry Harper's Twitter and we all know that you tweet yourself and you tw retweet everything Eddie Hearn does and you're having conversations with yourself on social media, Steffi, on Twitter. That's not normal behaviour, so Steffi, what I suggest you do is rinse your mouth out with TCP after you've seen Eddie next time. Coogan does that all the time now. And stop having conversations with Terry Harper's Twitter with yourself. Let Terry be herself. That's all you've got to do. Let her be yourself. Let her think. Look, we know she's not best speaker in the world, but you've got to let her be herself. All right, Steffi. So, congratulations. Pound for pound, Porky's Corner. Number one joint with Eduardo and Terry Harper. <laughs> All right, so that's about it really. That's the Helmets of the Month for January 2021. I hope you all enjoyed it and I hope you all share it to everybody because it's only tongue-in-cheek comedy, isn't it? But I mean everything I said. All right, these people need pulling up with the utter rubbish that they're coming out with. It's becoming that bad that even people who, who know some of these people, they're like, what are they coming out with here? I mean, are people that desperate to cling on to a job? I don't know, but this is how I look at it, right? I have to pull them up on it, same as they would me. That's just how it is, isn't it? But could you imagine actually being voted a helmet? It's unbelievable, isn't it? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Shocking, isn't it? Shocking to be voted a helmet, but what can you do? It's uh, it's one of them things. It's summer that I can explain it. Well, when you're growing up and you go into boxing, right? Could you imagine if I'm still doing this in ten years and people are saying, Do you know what? I don't want to be an helmet on Porky's Corner. Well, you've not arrived until you've been a helmet. So. 
keep your eyes out for it. Porky's Corner, because we're coming. We're not going anywhere. We're not going anywhere. We're here to stay, so get used to it. So spread the love. Because I say the things that nobody else wants to say. Because nobody wants to stand up and be counting in boxing, do they? But I do, because I want changes in boxing. I want the sport to grow and I want it to be fair. That means drug testing, proper 50-50 matchups, nobody getting bladdered, you know. No er er Magadovs or Ergoviches against your journeyman types and that. We want to see proper fights, don't we? That's what we want to see. Eddie Hearn promised them, so... And I want change and I'm passionate about it. I want to see safety for fighters. I don't want to see board of no control actually doing their job. I don't want to see people manipulating the system and just getting slots constantly on Sky and that because of who they are. It's got to be shared out proper. Kids are not getting fights and I'm going to keep going on about it until we get change. And if anybody's got a problem with that, tough. Grow a pair, don't be leaving comments on my channel and then telling me that you haven't got Zoom. If you've got YouTube on your phone, you can get Zoom. It's free. It is free. So don't tell me you haven't got Zoom when you're leaving comments on YouTube. It just means basically that you're a shit house and you haven't got the bottle. You haven't got the bottle. That's all it means. Alright. So peace out, keep on trucking. Keep supporting boxing. Thanks for liking and subscribing and leaving a lovely nice comment. The email to anybody who wants to come on this channel or anybody who has a problem with this channel and wants to talk to me on Zoom in a face-to-face -face is porkycorner at mail.com. That includes you Mr Jedi with your uh, gold mask on and all you other porky uh, trolls on social media. Come and face the porks, so don't hide behind your accounts. You know, because people who hide behind their accounts have got testicles like garden peas and the heart of a breadcrumb. All right. So let's see you all grow a bit, a grow a pair. All right. Peace out. <laughs> you like that one, didn't you? Right. First of all, I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together aren't we so anybody got any ideas for the channel fire them over to me porkycorner at mail.com all right shout out to innovation alloys and south yorkshire packaging all right don't forget to subscribe keep on trucking